one way to make sure that you don't just build wealth but that you will never stop having wealth is to invest in your next generation and by that i mean your children and of course other people who are learning from you now i was out and about a few days ago with my child my daughter she's six almost seven now and usually you know backstory i have been trying to get her to adopt our typical african culture when it has to do with greeting felicitations greeting people who are older than you you know you you pass by an adult you say good afternoon or good morning or good evening which one applies and then i find that um usually something that she's selective about right she, today she's like you're talking to an adult you're, you're approaching an adult with her and then she greets the person the person like oh fine girl all of that and then you know she's happy the days that happen she's like mommy share i did well you know and all that and i give her a high five now or some days maybe we are driving in the car and i'm talking to someone and she's at the back and she's trying to get the presentation so the mommy will know she's a good girl and trying to greet the person and the person you know how it is when you're standing outside the car noise and all that so the person may not even see her or may not hear her and so will not respond and then she goes you see sometimes i, I greet people and they don't respond i said no that's because they didn't hear you okay so we have had this banter back and forth about evil people that we can meet and then i feel she didn't greet them because she was muttering under her breath and the person practically did not hear her so all of that going on then we happen to have this conversation and this is where i decided to draw the lesson from this video on how do you teach your children how to make money without labor laws catching on you without using them without harassing them in that sense how do you get them to get to a point where they are financially able to stand in the next few years when they become teenagers young adults and all that how do you ensure this happens especially if you're like me that i grew up not seeing any one person i could look up to in that sense who was family who was running a big business employing people in that sense i don't mean running petty businesses like having a shop a provision shop and all that i don't mean that but that is also okay right because i saw my mother do that i saw my mother also try to own a school i said try i mean she started a school but because it didn't it didn't last beyond four years and the issues that weighed it down made it go down and i was still a teenager then and i've also saw my, my father try to run a big consultancy business and all that so what i mean that i didn't have that luxury of understanding someone who has succeeded at business and entrepreneurship and i could ask questions i could know, see what they are doing and then you know it comes to me all the time that one of the things you should not repeat as a parent is to allow your children put their head in the sky i'm a child k sarah sarah everything that i want to come from my parents and then they get to 18 with that kind of attitude and what still some of them get to have entitlement mentality i mean i have seen real adults in some families that girl guy i can't i won't lie to you he's not palatable people who cannot fend for themselves even as adults and i think these things are from um, the child themselves not been willing to pick up skills and sometimes it's also because they feel one or two parents indulge them as children and they have grown up not knowing what to do and then it came back to this greeting thing remember how they tell you don't talk to strangers if somebody wants to talk to you run and all of those things that we typically say as african parents i don't know about our generation doing that though but i think we still do it because we are raised like that <laughs> okay so but when I catch myself in those thoughts, I quickly refrain. Because at the end of the day, it is those strangers that have your money. Excuse me, the clients that you have, the people that are giving you the big deals, that are patronizing you, are they your family members? And in fact, are your family members actually paying for your services? I mean, you're lucky if they are, but are they the bulk of the people that you depend on? People who have become your clients today and some, some have become friends and even family in that sense, where someday strangers, the people who are getting married, they were once strangers to themselves. So that whole ideology about 
don't talk to strangers don't do that is wrong i mean i'm not saying you should tell your children to don't mind strangers but of course i i teach them to use their sense alarm you know when somebody around you doesn't feel right or makes you jitter or makes you afraid you know this person may not mean well and it's at that point you shout if there are adults there or at that point that like, you take up on your heels and all of that so i am very practical in teaching them now back to our story so on this particular day you know normal pick up from school and then if i meet someone i'm I'm hoping, sometimes I'm not even just paying attention to whether she will greet or not. Sometimes I prompt her, you know, but then she goes, Oh, mom, she showed me her bead. Her older sister had made this um, pair of beads, you know, and had forgotten it and gone back to boarding school. So she brought it out from her bag. I was like, You took that to school? And she's like, Yes. And that she's thinking that she should start selling them. Typical me wearing my trying to raise independent children hearts and especially entrepreneurs because I tell them excuse me girl you, you can be the president excuse me, excuse me girl look at how to be a politician I teach them and I try to expand their bandwidth their mind bandwidth because some of their friends their age would have started saying things about you know how girls don't do that boys don't do that all of those things that we typically just do in society so I try to they construct those things on time anyway back to the story okay okay so she tells me about wanting to sell this beat and i'm like oh good idea good idea but who do you want to sell to she's like anybody anybody I say no girl you can't sell to anybody that's business lesson number one you can't sell to everybody that's that's how to set yourself up for frustration if you try to think that your market is everybody i'm like look at these beads again from the size it fits into your hand perfectly it can't fit into mine so typically i can't buy it to wear it now that means it is for children your age or older or a bit you know people around your age because it has an elastic band okay if that's the case i asked her again so who do you think you should sell them to so she says people that have money i said good now who are the typical people that you see around you or even right now that have money she said parents mommies daddies um, i said good now imagine imagine that you make this up to 10 of them and then who are the mommies daddies and uncles and aunties that are immediately around you that you can sell to she said my teachers you know mommy's friends daddy's friends our neighbors i said good so imagine what mommy have been talking about imagine okay i told her can you just walk up to any auntie on the street who you typically has just been driving past you haven't really greeted her any day you haven't said hello auntie good afternoon before and she responded to you as oh fine girl you, you've never had that contact with her but then you take your beads now and walk up to her and say auntie please buy my beads do you think she will typically buy so she goes mm, maybe not i said good and i love this conversation a lot and that's why i said i'll bring it to the gang because that comes back to what i have always learned and known in marketing called the klt the no like trust factor if people do not know you i started telling her if people don't know you this auntie have never seen you don't even, they don't even know you're my daughter right she's likely to feel oh who sent this child to me and just say something nice for you to go but may not buy again if she doesn't really like you either because she has seen you a couple of times you do you, you really don't stand you're that child that is playing or just you know looking away when they see adults and they have monitored you and know that you don't really greet people typically she may not like you or he may not like you enough to buy from you she said mm, that's true i said you know that is why when mommy asks you to do certain things is because mommy can see ahead of time i knew that there will be a time when you start doing business trying to make money and i know you like money and i've taught you that money can answer a lot of questions and answer it all things in that for that matter according to the bible and i know that you can't also make money if people don't know you or they know you but they don't like you because they feel you have an attitude or otherwise or they don't trust you they don't trust that okay this thing you're bringing will it last is it what my money is the price okay you get what i mean and you're not even able to let them know why they should buy it and then the conversation went on and on and she had to say okay mommy i will make sure i greet people and i now went ahead number three to tell her you also don't greet people just because you want to sell to them 
because people can see through it. You have you have been passing this auntie, you've been passing this to your teachers, you don't greet them, and sometimes they caution you, sometimes they just leave you because <laughs> you're trying to give me a bad name. Yes, I said it. I said it a few times. Like I'm an African mother still. I said, Oh, you're trying to give me a bad name, right? That I didn't train you well. So <laughs> anyway, so imagine that's the situation. And then on this particular day, because you had beats, you now greet the teacher or you now greet the parent. The parents will just feel, hmm. <laughs> Okay, so because you want to, it doesn't even matter that you're a child. Now that comes back to the question how does this apply to you as we are talking? Greeting people in your sphere might be talking about what you do, engaging with an audience, offline and online. Okay, greeting them ahead of time before you have something that means you shouldn't just go to your social media post and keep talking about you. I'm selling this, I'm selling that, buy this, buy that. Nobody wakes up and decides that I'm going to go on Facebook or on Instagram or I'm going to meet somebody on the street and buy stuff. People must, must connect with you in a way that they feel okay, I have a need and I know this person is the best person to get it from. And my god, this is one way I think that we can draw the line between telling our children about strangers. Now letting them know that our money is always in the hands of strangers and making strangers our customers making them our, making them know what's like us and trust us is one factor that will go a long way in helping us sell and of course create wealth and the journey starts now my child i said is six she will be seven soon so there's no time that is too early to teach it use the conversations use the conversational style in the language they will understand and pitch it to them let this poverty end with you be that generational curse breaker like we like to say sometimes it's not a curse but it's a lifestyle of poverty that we have typically around us if you're fortunate to come from a wealthy home and you've been passed on wealthy heritages you've been taught how to build businesses kudos to you but some of us were not that lucky and that's why I, I think you should like this video because I have so much more coming your way because on this channel I believe that within everyone lies wealth and you can actually grow wealth by doing the work you love until I come your way again smash the like button and let me know whether you enjoyed this and by dropping a comment and I'll come to you again in my next video go teach your child how to make money bye